Verse 13, for if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are of sound mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us. I believe that so many people get the genitive wrong here. And the idea of, yes, Paul's great love for Christ controlled him. No. It was Christ's great love for Paul that controlled him. My love for Christ, when I look in the mirror, is so up and down, one day hot, the next day cold, somewhere in between, fickle I am. I find no motivation in the strength of my love for Christ. There's nothing to boast of. Oh, but Christ's love for me is an eternal constant. It never changes. No blemish there, no wavering. As solid as the rock that he is, Do you know what you need more than anything else? Do you know what you need, believer, more than anything else? And it's the pain of the preacher. Because after every description of it, the preacher just wants to walk off the platform and never preach again. Because it's beyond him. Spurgeon lamented, I don't know how many times, saying, if I had the tongues of angels, the mind of a principality, I could not begin to share with you this theme. And it is the love of Christ and the love of God in Christ for you. That's what you need to understand. I could come here thundering from Mount Sinai. I could condemn you all with the law. But that will just whip you like a beast. No, you need to be drawn with cords of love. You need to see how much He loves you. The more you grow in your understanding of how much He loves you, the greater the motivation. Imagine two women and both of them faithful in serving their husbands and one does it with trepidation and fear and trembling and sadness and anxiety and the other one does it with power and joy and peace what is the difference between these two women this woman serves her husband so that he will love her this woman serves her husband because he does because he does love her He loves you. There's no poet. There's no principality. There's no way to even move you a fraction to understanding more of the love of God apart from the scriptures and the illumination of the scriptures by the Holy Spirit. Oh, that God would show you how much he loves you. Look to the cross. Look to the cross. Study it. Study it. Study it.